Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the quick update over at the situation at the Battle of Bakhmut. So uh, this is Bakhmut and uh, at Bakhmut, so um, the just overlay to let you see the difference. So you can see that uh, there is some uh, change and a significant one uh, is actually the retraction of the uh, pro-Ukrainian uh, view. So previously they have the front line uh, all the way here uh, they they did not acknowledge all the progress that the Russian forces have been making uh, over in the northern and uh, north uh, west part of Bakhmut and uh, finally we do have uh, this corroboration of sort uh, that the Ukrainian lines has at least fallen to this area however this does not acknowledge the latest information coming from the pro-russian sources where the fighting has already arrived into the garage area over here so let me zoom in a bit so so this is the garage area and uh so they are fighting in here so uh just some up so to explain what is the garage area so i learned from uh sanya florida uh uh if you guys have uh, watched the super panel you probably will have known him he told me that during the ussr period uh, people don't really drive their cars around or at least they don't park their cars in their house on along the roads because it can get stolen so they actually have uh, all these uh garage uh regions where they park their cars and they use their cars for long distance traveling uh so so like his experience he told me that he actually have to walk like 40 minutes from his house to the garage to get a car but then they will drive the car to you know somewhere far away uh, to their summer house their, their dachas and uh, to for their weekend and stuff like that so a very very interesting thing so which is why we kind of uh, make it it does sounds a little weird when they say about garage area so uh, the pro-russian sources already say that they are fighting in the garage area and uh, they are already pushing past uh, the hospital or they captured the area around the hospital this has not this is not yet acknowledged by the pro-ukrainian side uh, just yet so the pro ukrainian side uh, you can see that they are still along the Crania Crania street and um, so this is the situation however in the in the south the pro ukrainian side actually do provide uh, more information so the the pro ukrainian side actually claims that there is this uh, success uh, from the russian side that actually allows uh, that actually push past the western part of the Bakhmut train station and um so they, the Russian forces have captured all the high buildings around this area here. So there's, you can see there's some high rise over here and further up north, uh, there's some high rise over here. So the Russian forces have already moved past all this high rise and uh, they, they are pushing uh, westward. Uh, this actually is quite a disaster for because these high rise are actually a good defensive positions uh, that the Ukrainians now have lost and uh, the next strong positions probably would be you know maybe around here with uh, slightly higher rises uh over here you know over here so the this is uh to deep state ua they claim that this is actually quite disastrous that the russians actually you know taken this area deep complicating their defense of course the main bout the main fortress the main castle is actually this area uh this is the castle if you if you want to call it uh, this is all high-rise buildings. This is actually the final stand, the final position where the Ukrainians can make up a strong uh, defensive position. So this is actually the castle or the citadel, you might want to call it, where the, the, where the evil horde of ox are actually, you know, going around and trying to, you know, capture the final stand of humankind. And uh, the... So the... The situation in the south also there uh there is also you know some change as you can see the russian forces also managed to make some progress uh in this area where the fighting is actually quite uh quite uh fierce so at Hwai Horia Skovodi, skovorodi lane uh, this is where the fighting is currently uh happening now so this is the situation here within the bakhmut uh region as you can see uh, now that i removed the overlay is actually much clearer uh, the situation is continue to be progressing in uh, Russia's uh, Russia's uh, favor. So um, outside of Bakhmut, uh, there is heavy fighting uh, around the Kromove, especially the road area. Uh, mainly is here because when they talk about Kromove, they can they might actually referring to the road here. So this area here, there is some changes. So you can see that uh, on the map now we have a uh, three fortress 
icon. This is because this entire area is now all um, heavy trenches. Let me show you. So if you go to the DPA's uh, Telegram channel, you will actually find this. Uh, this is the latest post. You can see that the the trench line, this is actually the road. This is the, okay, wrong color. This is the final road. This is the road that where it's bent. Uh, as you can see, this is where the bent is. This is the bent. And uh, the, the entire area here is just trench line. So the currently, if I'm not mistaken, when the they were previously break, the, there's this excitement or whatever of the Russians not taking this position. So apparently this is probably this, this, these are the trench line that the Russians have taken. These are the trench line. So which is why uh, we previously saw that uh, the Russians actually taken this area here, uh, which makes a little no sense if you're just looking at the satellite maps uh, of O. And uh, actually the is actually the trench lines rather than the forest line. There's actually no more forest line. The forests are all dead uh, in this area. The Ukrainians are still holding the this uh, these trench lines here, uh, where the Russians have yet to penetrate. And then across the other road, there is more trench lines uh, all around here. You can see it's it's a lot, a lot of trench lines over all these places. And uh, so the this is the current situation here. The Russians are still trying to push uh, through uh, to this side. Uh, it's going to be very, very difficult. As you can see on the satellite imaging, the amount of artillery that's being arranged on these forces fighting around this area is insane. So this is the situation over at uh, at the Kromove Road. So the so now you look at this, this looks so clean and it looks like, oh, the Russians are going to only be here on the front, the Ukrainians here. Uh, so it's clearly not the case. So the, and also in the, so this part is a uh, heavy, very fought very, very heavily. And uh, in the south, uh, we, there is also fighting reported uh, in the Ivaniske region. We, this part, we are not so clear. Uh, and in the southwest uh, of the city itself, there's, the Russians are still apparently trying to reach the Tchaikovsky Street uh, or Ch Tchaikov Skogo Street. Uh, apparently, according to pro-Ukrainian sources, this does not happen. Uh, the, the Russian forces still have not reached the road. Yeah, which is why you know we have this blue, you see the blue, blue Ukrainian uh, front line, where it suggests where the Ukrainians think the front line actually is, which is actually still here. So. Yeah, so depending on which version of the story you prefer. Uh, anyway, this is the summary. Uh, sorry, the quick update. Oh, no. I moved the... Oh, God. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so this is the quick update uh, over at the Battle of Bakhmut. And uh, I'll see you in the next update.